Here's your update from Western North Carolina and our Helene Help Operations. First of all, some really dumb rules have been implemented, y'all. One of our big shelters and distribution centers, the health department told the refugees, those that are stranded, who've lost everything, that they could not use the shelter showers without flip-flops. Dumbest thing I have ever heard, these people have lost everything and you won't let them take a hot shower without flip-flops? Oh, well, when I got that call, thank you, friends, and thank you to Larry and Concord who hooked us up at the nail supply place because we sent 18,000 pairs of flip-flops up to the shelter this morning where one of my girlfriends took a trailer up so people can take a shower. Those are the kind of rules that don't help in a time of absolute survival disaster. That's number one. Number two is if you're reading about FEMA online and wondering if they're really a pain in the tail, I can confirm it is true. I tried to send in a pallet of chainsaws two days ago and we had to divert it somewhere away from FEMA because they wanted to confiscate. FEMA, those ain't your chainsaws. Our mountain people are much better with them than y'all are, although I'm sure there's some very fine people that work for FEMA. I'm talking about the organization. But those saws need to be in the hands of the guys on ATVs down in the holler and up on these trees where there are blocked roads where we can get access to our neighbors who are still stranded. This is not a one-time little five-minute storm. There are people that we have not gotten to yet, and we want to get to them. That's why those chainsaws are up there. So fine, we're going to go around you, FEMA, and don't try to get in the way of North Carolina mountain people when we are trying to take care of each other. You should also know I had a shipment trying to go in last night that got stopped because somebody wanted to inventory it, so we diverted that one elsewhere to get it into the hands of an apartment complex of seniors that had been neglected. So thank you to the friend of mine who alerted me to that complex and to the other friend who took this load up. And by the way, got to spend the night at the apartment of somebody who was just willing to help out. The biggest thing you have to know here is that neighbors are looking after neighbors and when FEMA's in the way, don't think you're going to stop us because that's basically like a Satan roadblock and God will find a way because God always wins. The other thing I want y'all to know is that we do have support from all over the country. We've got NYPD, fire departments, we've got linemen and emergency personnel and we in North Carolina are very grateful that you have chosen to come help us. So thank you to them, but boo to the government agencies that want to get in the way. And by the way, i got to add one more thing. The announcement today that this little tiny piddling amount of money is going to go to people impacted by this storm. Are you kidding me? I told y'all before, you cannot eat money or drink money. Why are we not seeing massive supply drops come in? And I mean massive. The government is run by my taxpayer dollars and your taxpayer dollars. They are a net consumer, not a producer. So whatever they're throwing out there comes from me. As a taxpaying citizen, D.C., quit trying to buy us off because you can't buy us for $750 anyway. How about you send in the water we need, send in some ATVs, send in some more chainsaws and fuel, and let us take care of our people and get out of the way. Because Western North Carolina is going to pull through this whether you get in our way or not.